hello viewers so today we'll uh, solve this integral uh, which involves the greatest integer function and uh, let us call this integral as i right so here we see that the limits are from uh, 1 to uh, e square and e is the exponential number uh, which lies between uh, 2 and 3 right okay so here x belongs to uh, 1 to e square so therefore uh, this uh, log of uh, e x uh, it belongs to uh, 0 to 2 right so here uh, when x is equal to 1 then the value of uh, log of uh, e x here the base is e so log of e 1 is 0 and when x is e square then log uh, x to the base e is log of e e square right so uh, applying the properties of log we can write 2 log e e and uh, log of e to the base e is 1 so we have uh, 2 multiplied 1 2 right so when x belongs to this interval then log of x to the base e it belongs to the interval uh, 0 to 2 right now let us express uh, this uh, interval on number line so suppose here we have 0 here we have 2 then we see that uh, the only integer which lies between 0 and 2 is 1 right okay so now uh, uh, let us uh, express uh, this uh, greatest uh, integer uh, log of x to the base e as a piecewise function right so uh, log of x to the base e so this is the greatest integer function and uh, the value of uh, uh, this function is uh, 0 when log of x to the base e it lies between 0 and 1 right this is due to the definition of uh, greatest integer function right similarly when uh, log of x to the base e it lies between 1 and 2 then the value of uh, this function is 1 right so here uh, we can write uh, this fact in the form of uh, inequalities so uh, uh, greatest integer log x to the base e is 0 when uh, log of x it lies between 0 and 1 similarly when uh, log of uh, x it lies between uh, 1 and 2 then the value of greatest integer log x is 1 and this can be written like this log of x to the base e it lies between 1 and 2 right okay so here uh, we have expressed this function uh, in the form of a piecewise function now here uh, let us solve these inequalities right so uh, let us convert these inequalities in the form of uh, x belonging to some interval right so what we will do let us take uh, this uh, inequality so here we have uh, log of x and 1 now uh, raising uh, these three numbers to uh, the exponential number so we can have e raised to 0 then e raised to log of uh, uh, x and e raised to 1 right so what we have done here uh, we have raised these three numbers uh, to uh, e raised to the power right okay so when uh, e raised to uh, 0 we have 1 and e raised to log x is simply x and e raised to 1 is e so here we have used the fact that e raised to log of f is equal to f so we have here x so this is uh, the first 
uh, inequality and let us uh, uh, solve this inequality uh, in the same manner so we have one uh, less than or equal to log of x and here we have two and again uh, raising these three numbers to the uh, power of e so we have e raised to one here we have e raised to log of x and here we have e raised to 2. So again applying this rule we have here e and here we have x and here we have e square. Right? Okay. So now uh, we have seen here uh, that uh, this function uh, greatest integer uh, log of x can also be expressed as 0 uh, when uh, x lies between uh, 1 and e right so uh, here we can write 1 and x and we have e here similarly uh, the value of this function is 1 when uh, this uh, inequality holds and this inequality is equivalent to this one so here we have e less than or equal to x less than e square so now uh, let us come to the integral so here we have i and uh, uh, here we have uh, x from uh, 1 to e and from e to e square now we can uh, split uh, this integral into the sum of two integrals the first one is i1 and second one is i2 i1 is from uh, 1 to e so we can write uh, from 1 to e and uh, uh, greatest integer uh, log of x to the base e right and then uh, we have the next integral that is from e to e square and uh, here we have greatest integer uh, log x dx right okay so now we see that the value of uh, this function is 0 when x uh, belongs to the interval 1 to e so here we have uh, 0 and uh, when x belongs to uh, e to e square then the value of this function is 1 so here we have 1 so we can now write uh, this these two integrals as 1 to e here we have 0 dx and then we have e to e square uh, 1 dx right so the value of this integral is 0 and here uh, we have uh, the integral of uh, dx is simply x so we have x and the limits are from e to e square right now applying the uh, integral rule that is uh, if we have a to b f of x dx then we can write it as uh, f of b minus f of a where f of x is the antiderivative of f of x right okay so now here we have e square minus e right so we have substituted the limits and uh, we have taken the difference so this is uh, the required value of uh, this integral uh, when we have to integrate it from 1 to e square